In this video, I'm gonna to try to dominate a very common weed and I'm testing out four different products and I wanna know by the end of this video, which one of these four products does the best job on controlling this very common weed. I'm gonna show you the weed, I'm gonna show you the four products. We're gonna spray it and we're gonna know an answer by the end of this video. Let me show you the weed so you know what we're dealing with. Now, let me explain just for a second. I've got these huge bear patches, you got pretty nice Bermuda grass here and then huge bear patch. This is another YouTube video I'm working on that may have gone wrong. But basically I was trying to get common Bermuda out of hybrid Bermuda. So you see hybrid Bermuda and this is common Bermuda. So I just sprayed it with weed killer and thought it would fill in over time and plugged it. But you see what's happened, it's got filled in with weeds. And the one weed that has totally taken over, and there's a lesson to be learned in this, is this weed right here. This is Spurge. S-P-U-R-G-E, Spurge. I had somebody call me the other day and he said, hey, I'm out spraying yards. He has a lawn care business. He said, I'm spraying yards and I don't have a lot of confidence in the products I'm using gonna actually kill the weed. And so I got to thinking about that. I was like, you know, that is a problem because I need to know when I see a yard full of Spurge that when I spray the product on there, that I know without having to go back and check on it that it's gonna die. So this video may be helpful for you, but it's also helpful for me and other lawn care professionals because we can see in the video, when I spray this Spurge, is it gonna die or not? Because I need to have confidence when I'm spraying a customer's lawn or when you're spraying your own lawn that it's gonna work. Now one of the main lessons we can learn from this video is look where the Spurge is. It's all in this area that the grass was killed and very bare spots in here. So if you look over here where there's actually decent grass, you might find an occasional spot of Spurge like that. But in general, there's very few weeds in the area with thick grass. So part of it is you got to have a nice healthy lawn is one of the best things you can do to keep the word. So one of the lessons is having a nice healthy lawn is one of the best things you can do to keep the weeds out because this had a pre-emergent applied to it just like this did. But you see the results where the grass is thick versus where there's almost no grass is totally dominated by weeds. Check out our lineup of products. We're testing out four products. Let me introduce them to you. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and mark these with flags, the different spots. We're gonna spray four different patches of spurs. There'll be some that's not sprayed. I've got these flags. I already wrote the name of the products on the back of the flag so we can keep it straight on the video. But starting over here, let me introduce contestant number one. This is Blindside. These are active ingredients, sulfitrazone and metsulfuron. I have been using Blindside for a while. I like it because it's a very versatile product. It has a lot of broadleaf weeds and have some effectiveness on sedges as well. Next up, we've got Celsius. Celsius is the product I've been spraying just about all summer long. I typically mix it with certainty and go after broadleaf weeds, grassy weeds, and sedges in warm season lawns. Not a product you're going to use on your cool season lawns, but a very commonly used herbicide for us. So we're going to try it out. Next over here, we got Dismiss NXT. Now I mentioned on the blind side, it has sulfentrazone in it. Sulfentrazone is the active ingredients and then the Dismiss product. So, you know, this has sulfentrazone in it. This has sulfentrazone in it. This has sulfentrazone as well as carfentrazone, which I believe is the active ingredient found in some of your speed zone products. So you mix those two together and you get Dismiss NXT. I believe it's gonna have some fast results, but I wanna see it with my own eyes. And last up, we've got Change Up, and you can see there that it has dicamba in it and some other things, and we're gonna use it and hopefully gonna get some fast results as well with Change Up. Now let me give a quick word of caution here. Sometimes when we do these videos and people look up the product, they say, oh, that cost $112, or that was $200 or what. You know, one of the things that they're not really considering is how much it costs per the application. Let's just give an example, this change up. I don't know what this change up costs. It might be $250 for this jug and you can buy it in smaller quantities, okay? So you don't have to buy this big two and a half gallon jug. But when you're actually out spraying a yard, it's a very cheap product where sometimes people would rather go to the big box store and buy something for $20 that barely works and think that they got a deal because it was only $20 and this cost more with well, actually spending way more for the amount of area that they're covering. I mean, I don't think people understand how long this will actually last if I was out there. I'm gonna put three quarters of an ounce in a gallon of water and that is good for going out and spot treating weeds. Same with these. Now they may be small bottles. I can't believe that cost over $100 and that's over $100 and that's over $100. 
Yeah, but when you actually mix it up in a little two gallon handheld sprayers, they're not that expensive of products for just spot treating. Now, I'm rarely gonna mix a product like this up in my big sprayer. I might do the change up because honestly, it's the cheapest one uh, per application of these listed here. But I'm not gonna put $100 in there and just go spray somebody's yard. So oh, please don't leave me in comments and say, I can't believe how much that costs. I could never afford that. That's so expensive. You know, it, I, I get it that it's a little bit of a good bit of money up front if you're a homeowner situation. But when you look at the cost per application, they're actually not that expensive at all. Again, I'm mostly using these for spot treating. If you go out there and start blanking in huge yards, yeah, you're gonna run up quite a bill. Let me get these products mixed up. I am gonna add surfactant to all of these. We're gonna spray these, and I think the weather is fairly warm today, so we should get some pretty quick results, and we're gonna check back and see which one works the fastest and the best and what kind of results we get. Again, we can find a, a little clump of spurge that hasn't been sprayed like this right here that we can show what it does when it's not been sprayed. But I've got all these big clumps of weeds in these bare spots. I need the Bermuda grass to fill in, so I'm gonna try to kill all of it. So here we go, blindside, change up, NXT, and uh, Celsius down on the end. I think we're gonna get some fast results. I think we're gonna get some very visible results. So we'll check back. And I don't plan on spraying this twice, okay? This is one shot, see what it does. But the other good thing I think is interesting about this is there's a few other weeds mixed in here with it. Like there's some kind of Kalinga mixed in here. I think the blind side will do pretty good on it. And you got uh, Kalinga mixed in here. The change up's probably not gonna do anything to that, but I think it'll do great on the spurge, which is our target weed. So it'll be interesting to see, there's a lot of Kalinga over here in the Celsius plot. So we'll be able to see what it does to that. So we'll be able to check on what it's doing to some other weeds as well as the spurge. All right, I don't have a cameraman right now, so I'm gonna use a tripod. So I stood far enough back where you could see all four of the, the plots we have to spray. Now I've got all four mixed up. I'm gonna start over here, work my way this way. Let me say this when it comes to spraying weeds. One thing you don't wanna do when it comes to spraying weeds is we're not trying to drown the weeds. And let me talk just for a minute about mixing up the chemicals. When you're mixing it, I typically mix at the high rate. So it'll say something like, uh, let's just say 0.34 ounces. I'm using blindside, for example. I think it's 0.34 ounces per thousand square feet. Well, I put 0.34 ounces in one gallon of water, which equates to roughly a thousand square feet. Now, if you know that you want to spray like crazy and sit there and, and try to drown the weed, then you're going to need to use more than a gallon of water. But I mix it at the high rate and then spray lightly. So that's what I've done um, with these products. We're going to start with blindside over here. Next up, we got change up. Next up is Dismiss NXT. Lastly, we got Celsius. It's been three days since we did the initial applications. Let's check out and see what's going on so far. All right, maybe it would be helpful if I show you what the spurge, that was our primary tarry weed, what it looks like. I did cut the grass. You can see there's spurge that was, has not been sprayed. Okay, here's maybe a better view. Not been sprayed. Now let's look at what has been sprayed three days ago. First up, we got blindside. And I can, I can see it starting to turn brown a little bit. The thing about the blind side, it's got the sulfitrous on and the, the metsulfuron. I, I think the metsulfuron has to be watered in. I'm, I'm not 100% sure on that, but uh, and this has had no water, so that probably has a little bit of effect, but it, it's definitely working. One thing that's noticeable is, look at that. It's like, that's an uh, annual foxtail. And it definitely, uh, I don't think I sprayed the whole plant, but the part I did spray does not like blind sides. That's actually good for me to see that. Let's see what our second one was. Change up. Change up here and you know, a little bit going on. I'm actually a little surprised that it's not 
more damage done to the plant but we're gonna check in um, another time and give it some more time what was our third one dismiss NXT and you know very similar honestly except look at the dismiss NXT on that I don't know if that was a goose grass or look at it on this Kalinga right here over here so it did a great job on the Kalinga look how brown that one is very good results that weed I don't even know what that was but it it's had better days and then lastly Celsius and Celsius does have some activity on Kalinga but you can see at least initially not not nearly the results as the Dismiss NXT on that and the the actual spurge not not a whole lot going on Celsius might be just a little bit slower personally not in a race but I wanted to give us a three-day update we'll check back soon and see how they're progressing well it's only been a couple more days since the last update so we're about five days in from our initial update but a couple of things I want to mention one it, the weather's been warm and it seems like the results just went a lot faster from day three to day five and also i wanted to say uh, in a previous video somebody's uh, saying the sound on the video wasn't that great i just bought a new camera so this actual section of this video is being filmed with my new camera so i'd like uh, maybe to comment on the quality of the video and the audio for this portion i'm trying out the brand new camera for the first time all right let's check out the weeds out here early in the morning again first up we got blindside and yes it looks like a dramatic difference honestly in the blind side just in the last two days and it just went crazy on it and good to see that green bermuda grass in there that's what i'm looking for not just damaging everything but look at how brown the spurge is and you got that it's turning brown whatever weed that was look at this kalinga over here i mean that's five days after application and as we showed before it burned up that the part of the uh, what do you call it thing foxtail that we did spray all right moving over to change up I believe this is change up let me double check here yes still a little slow on this one honestly i mean I, i'm kind of surprised i mean it, it's definitely doing some stuff i mean it's brown and i think it's going to kill it i'm not really even too worried about it but just slower than i thought the blind side definitely went in that as far as the race goes this is the dismiss nxt and it is definitely doing some damage. Again, look at the Kalinga. So that sulfitra zone, that was, I think, the foxtail, or actually, I think that was goosegrass there. Um, you know, just really great results seeing there on the Dismiss NXT. And then the Celsius, which again, is going to be a little on the slower side. Not a whole lot to see there for the Kalinga. But I do wonder if that was mowed, would it grow back or would it kind of suppress it? I don't know. But starting to see some results. Again, we're just going to, I'm not going to check every two days. Well, let's give it a little more time and come back and give this uh, change up and give the Celsius a little bit more time. Super fast results on the blind side and the Dismiss NXT. We'll check back soon. It's been about 12 days since we did the initial application. I'm ready to wrap up the video. Let's see what the results look like to say the results are not exactly what I was expecting first up we've got blindside and I'm telling you I don't think we could have did any better just to be honest with you I don't know that I see anything living there's still the patches of Bermuda that are nice and green and I don't see any spurts I mean it's just it just completely obliterated it off the map so I'm gonna give that an A plus plus on the blind side when it comes to dealing with spurge. Second up was change up. And I'll be honest, I kind of thought that the change up would look about like that after this kind of time. And it did a, a pretty good job. Maybe I didn't have quite enough of a heavy application. You know, I, I put three quarters of an ounce per gallon of water with surfactant. And it's not that it did a bad job. I mean, over here, I probably sprayed a little heavier. You can see it pretty much wiped it out. Here, I don't think I got quite enough in there. And you can see what it, what it looks like. I mean, it's okay, but I'm not sure it's gonna die. I, I think it's gonna keep it down. I mean, then doing this in the summertime, late summer, it'll 
it's probably gonna stop growing soon and I'm not worried about it, I'm just saying. Didn't get as good a results as it did with the blind side. What about the Dismiss NXT? Now if you remember, early on in the video, I'm trying to remember, but it seemed like Dismiss NXT and blind side both just came out of the gate strong and looked great and just wiped some of it out. But what I didn't completely wipe out at the beginning is like started bouncing back and looking like it's healthy again almost. So a little bit disappointing that that the initial looked so good, but not exactly the finishing power that the blind side had. But now look at this. There was some goose grass there that got in the way, and it just really did a great job on that. And also a little bit of Kalinga, I believe, over there. Just excellent results on some of the weeds, but not specifically unbelievable on the spurge. And then lastly, we've got the Celsius, and similar to the changeup. Got pretty good results. Maybe over here a little bit better coverage and got a little better results. And maybe it'll continue to deteriorate. I'm not sure. One thing I did notice about it, where we've got a little bit of Kalinga mixed in here, starting to see it yellow out. And it's, it's slow, so I mean, it, it may continue to get worse over time but got some results on some other weeds that happen to be mixed in here and okay results on the spurge. So there you have it. There's the results they speak from the sales. Blindside was a clear winner on this. I would say Celsius and change up with a tie for second and the Dismiss NXT came in last on this one. All of them got pretty good results. Dismiss NXT did awesome on the Kalinga and on the Goosegrass that got in the way, but specifically for the spurge, not quite as good a results. Hope this video has been helpful. If you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel. I wanted to also tell you about the 2024 Lawn Care Life Conference, February 23rd and 24th in Springville, Alabama. It's near Birmingham. Got a lot of special guests coming. But if you're interested in this, go to lawncarelife.com and you'll see a link that says conference. Now I'll have all the details for that. It's a Friday night, all day Saturday. It's $197, the early bird ticket price, and that includes your meals. There's also at lawncarelife.com where you'll find the Weed Control and Fertilization Academy, other resources for people that want to start a lawn care business. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.